just taking advantage of some good weather out here. Who knows what's going to happen in the coming days. So I'm going to just show you something that is going on. Hello from Cousin It as well. Yep, yep, got to get that out of the way. It is Dendrobium Berioda season, at least in my climate here on the Mediterranean coast. And I was looking at my Dendrobium Berioda a while back, trying to count the spikes, which is, it, it's, it's futile because this one will just spike at random very fast but it'll keep pushing out more spikes. So what I thought was two on this growth here, you can see that I'm now getting one, two, three, four more on that growth. But during my count, and this is what brings me to the subject of this video, is it a spike or is it a keiki? Well, let me show you. This is pretty obvious, it's a keiki but it's fully developed and it has roots. So that's easy to see. And then there is another stonking spike behind it. But here's what I would like to point out. If you are seeing your dendrobium kick into action and you're starting to go, oh, yay. I don't want you to be like disappointed. I mean, I love me keikis. I just propagate them. And sometimes, as you can see here, they spike as well. So the more, the merrier. And this one for me lives outside. It can tolerate all my temperatures all the way down to the lowest that I've had, which was five degrees Celsius. And in the, in the summer, it just stays more, much more shaded as I go off on a tangent. But the foliage you see here with that anthocyanin, with the reddish tinge, light indicator, that's the winter sun because it has like six hours of sun when it's out and I don't move it. Anyway, I digress. I was talking about spike count and keikis. So here, for example, is a spike, very nice, with a bulbous base. So this for me is a hybrid of a keiki and a spike. And this one will actually produce roots and become its own little plant despite being a spike. Because there's other spikes that are just thin coming out of the apex, no bulbous base, even if they're a little bit more immature, has nothing to do with it. But then you can see another growth, which you would assume is a spike. This is a keiki, going to be a keiki, if, we, if I get it right because it has all the little leaf joints and nodes. So this one can bloom as a flower spike, but will eventually develop roots and become a keiki. It will not look like the original keiki with all the leaves on the top, but the growth that comes out after it will be a new plant. And there are several little examples of that going on. You can see a normal developed spike down here, which is very narrow at the base and it's growing normal. And that is what we expect from a spike. But there's quite a few little examples in here where a spike will become a cakey format of a new growth. I have another example somewhere that I wanted to show you, unless I've already shown you the most clear ones that I have. But last year, this orchid gave me 30, in excess of 30 spikes. It was one heck of a show. Here we have another example. That can form a keiki and it can bloom depending on what it decides to do. Right now, I'm giving it its full fertilizer. I have not stopped fertilizing this orchid all year. It's been in bloom, it's been growing new growths. It is still developing new growths on the side. So I'm not in any way, shape or form stopping the fertilizer. But the spikes are coming out everywhere. And the keikis will be following suit very, very soon. But if you have a Dendrobium berryoda and you are wondering what is going on with mine, is that a spike or is it a keiki? 
it can be both. And when you see the bulbous bottom, you know that that is going to produce roots at some point and become a mother plant, despite being a spike, which I find very quirky. My orchid is doing it. I have not seen it do this on other Baryotas. And if other Baryotas are doing the same thing, then I would be really interested to hear from you because despite seeing a spike for what it is, very obvious, and then seeing something that looks like this, which is obviously a keiki, but it will develop a spike. Maybe nobody has ever documented it. So I'd be very interested to know if you have that kind of formation and development for your berry odor. Oh, I'm looking forward to these blooms. I'm very excited about what it's doing and how much I will be able to propagate this year. All over, the more you look, the more you find. <laughs> Just a short video. I'm going to see if I can get ahead of YouTube ads and uh, keep the viewer experience at a maximum without making too long videos and then breaking it up by ads. So I appreciate it very much. Thank you everybody for being here. Variota time very soon. Have a wonderful day, but make sure you stay safe. Take care. Bye.